Well, Robert, uh, we do have another question in our chat room. Uh, go ahead, Rob. It's actually a combination of a few questions, but basic, right. basic question is, while astral projecting, can you communicate with alien species, other astral projectors, or even the dead? So can you communicate with other alien species, the dead, other, other beings in an astral state while you're in this state? Can you, can you have communication? Yes, absolutely. Um, <clears throat> if you're in the astral dimension real time, uh, mainly the real time, you will occasionally come across ET types. Uh, I generally, you know, stay away from them. Um, and you'll occasionally come across spirits, particularly in real time, you'll come across earthbound spirits. Uh, and remember that most people, when they first die, you could say are earthbound for the first two weeks. Uh, and you know, and moving around in real time like a ghost, and before they move on, uh, in a way that's kind of like it gives them time to say their goodbyes and get used to the idea of being dead, and then they move on into the uh, astral astral planes. Now, uh, in the astral planes, you will encounter spirits. Uh, I visit my mother quite regularly, uh, and she died in 2002, and my father and other people I've known. Uh, they've got a nice little astral realm. It's like a little seaside resort. Other people I know, they have various existences over there. And uh, some of them are busy processing their lives by reliving them. Now, in the astral, it's like a dream environment. Uh, what you think, it appears around you like it's real. Right. And so uh, it's a perfect environment for processing your life. But, yeah, you can definitely communicate with uh, people. You don't see a lot of them when you get out into real time. It's generally pretty quiet. Um, you're quite alone. Yep. But if you go traveling further afield, you'll come across spirits and other things. Very good. Well, Robert, thank you so much for being with us. It sounds like an incredible journey, one that uh, we undertake each night, but one that maybe we can control. And, and what could that lead to? Astrodynamics, the name of Robert's latest book. For more information, you can always visit our website, 30oddminutes.com. We'll have links to everything that Robert's doing. Robert, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. You're most welcome. Uh, if you check my website out, I also do online courses. Uh, we do five-week training courses for astral projection. Right. So check out my website, please. Very good. Thank you. All right. Yeah.